Hi stamping friends, it's Becky Roberts with Inky in Idaho. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this cute little pleated skirt fold on your cards. It just adds a new layer of dimension to your designer series paper. So let's go ahead and get started. You need a piece of designer series paper that is seven and three quarters of an inch by three inches and you need a ruler and a pencil. To create the diagonal as we go down on the card, you need to go measure it at one and a half on the right hand side and at three go inches on the bottom. That's how you're going to get started on your card. So then you take your paper cutter and you put this in on a diagonal and you have lined up your little tick marks that you just created and you cut that off at the diagonal. From there you have to score it. So we bring in our Simply Scored board and put this in and we are going to score it at three inches, three and a half inches, five inches, and six and one eighth inches. Put that away and then we're ready to fold. So we find our little fold lines. You can fold accordion style backwards and forwards backwards and forward until you end up with this little pleated skirt like that. And then I take a little bit of adhesive and I kind of hold them all together before I put it on my card. So stick that one down, put a little adhesive there, here, and here. And that kind of makes it um, a little it sticks it together before you actually put it on your card. So then I bring in our card and we're just going to adhere it to the bottom. So I'm just going to use some of our snail adhesive and just put it all over. And when I make my little pleated cards I always start with seven and three quarters inch wide knowing that it's going to be a little bit long but sometimes when you cut a piece of cardstock in half you're never sure if it's going to be um, perfect. So I would rather have just a little bit hanging over to trim than to come up short. So that's how come I measure mine at seven and three quarters. So here's your little kick, kick uh, or your little pleated skirt. And from here, it's just a matter of decorating the card. So I'm going to start some stamping. We're going to use uh, Blushing Bride. And we're just going to randomly stamp flowers. Whoops, I'm sure that happens to you as well all over this. Just get them all over there. And then we're going to switch over to Pool Party and take the little dot image. Oh, by the way, I think I forgot to tell you that we're using the brand new set called Birthday Blooms. This is in the Occasions catalog that starts on the 5th of January. This is a beautiful set. So that's the one we're using and so now I've chosen the polka dots out of this one and we're just going to very lightly add a few little dots to this. A little another layer of dimension to our card. Make sure you get some off the edges and on the edges so that you have kind of a, a full look to your card and that's not just centered right smack in the front. From there I'm going to go ahead and put my ribbon on. So I'm using this beautiful new pool party sparkly ribbon and we need about nine inches and so I'm just going to put some of our uh, tear and tape right across the top of this and tear that and then peel it off I'm going to open the card and put this on the inside make sure it's not twisted or folded and then I'm going to bring it clear to the right side, more to the right side than the left side, and attach it right there because we're going to make a little embellishment to put on top of that right there. So that's what we're going to work on next. I have stamped the flower that comes in this set and we're going to do a bit of water coloring on it. So I'm going to open up my Blushing Bride and pick up my uh, blender pen with a little bit of ink and I'm just going to lightly add some color to this flower and I always leave a little bit of white space because that just kind of makes a little highlight area. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of randomly put some color in it. And then I'm taking the Watermelon Wonder and I'm going back over it and just shading the bottom areas a little bit. And 
and inside the flower. And I just kind of keep going until I don't have any more left on my marker. And then for the um, leaves on that, I'm going to use the Pear Pizzazz marker and just color it in. But I'm going to come back with a little bit of old olive and just make it a little bit darker in the leafy area. Do a little bit of shading. So you would actually do two of those. As I have the papers out right there, you can see that you need two of them. So um, what I'm going to do is put this into the one and three eighths inch circle punch and punch it out. And then I have already created another one that I have placed on a, st oops, on a Stampin' Dimensional and I'm gonna put it on just like that. Now to create a little layer for that one, I have the one and three quarter inch scallop punch. I'm gonna punch that out. And we're going to put some adhesive on the back of this and put it on here. And then this will go right here. But before we do that, we're going to take the tails from the bow punch. You all know what the bow punch is. This one creates the um, little tiny bow. So I'm just going to take the tails and with a stampin or no, with a mini glue dot, I'm just going to put them together. Well, I guess you have to actually pick up the glue dot. There you go. And then one more. And I'm just going to create a little bit of a bottom for this flower, like that. And then using a couple of dimensionals, we'll put it on our card. Peel those off. And we're going to put this right there on our card. And then to top it off, we have to put a sentiment on it. That's why we send cards, is because we have something to say. So this one is the happiest of birthdays to you. And so we're just going to put this on right here with Early Espresso. And we have completed our cute little card using the pleated skirt fold out of designer series paper. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Thank you.